I've always said that Dr. Jill Biden is President Joe Biden's not-so-secret weapon, and when she's on the campaign trail, it is pitch perfect. I want to show you this speech that she and President Biden were giving in uh, Pennsylvania on Friday. Here, Dr. Jill Biden just tears into Donald Trump. Watch this. Play this clip. Every morning thinking about he, how he can make the lives of Americans better. Donald Trump wakes up every morning caring about one person and one person only himself. He tears people down and pits us against one another. He mocks women's bodies and devalues our existence. And here's the one thing that really gets my filly up. As the daughter of a World War II veteran, Navy veteran, and the mother of an Army soldier, Donald Trump insults our veterans and disparages those who died in war, calling them losers and suckers. How dare he? Trump is dangerous to women and to our families and to our country, and we can't let him win. We can't wake up the day after the election like we did in 2016, terrified of the future ahead of us, thinking, oh my God, what just happened? What are we going to do now? No, we must meet this moment as if our rights are at stake, because they are. As if our democracy is on the line, because it is. We must reelect Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So good. And then in the same speech, Dr. Jill Biden talks about her love for President Biden and how what we all saw in the State of the Union is one of those qualities that she always knew in President Biden. Play this clip. So last night, Joe showed the world what I see every day. It's what drew me to him when we first met, I think, honest to God, Joe, 50 years ago. (laughs) It reminds me of a speech that Dr. Jill Biden gave a few weeks ago in Michigan. Here it is right here. Again, it was just pitch perfect and again, exposing Donald Trump. Play this clip. But Donald Trump? He spent a lifetime tearing us down and devaluing our existence. He mocks women's bodies, disrespects our accomplishments, and brags about assault. Now he's bragging about killing Roe v. Wade. Just last night, he took credit again for enabling states like Georgia to pass cruel abortion bans that are taking away the right of women to make their own health care decisions. How far will he go? When will he stop? You know the answer. He won't. He won't. He said it himself last night in his own words. He's considering a national abortion ban. Donald Trump is dangerous to women and to our families. What I liked about this speech as well When Joe Biden spoke, by the way, you see Joe Biden, President Biden, looking at Dr. Jill Biden, and you just see the love he has for her. And then when President Biden spoke, you know, he talked about decency and empathy. And he said, you know, I know we're going through things. I know things can be tough, but did you ever think that you would see 
you know, these kids of, of these MAGAs holding up, you know, signs with flags on it that says F you and, and all of these curse words. Like, it's not okay that we talk to each other like that. You know, we need to bring back decency. Here, play this clip. Because the soul of the country is who we are. Look, you know, did you ever think, those of you who are over 40, did you ever think we'd be in a situation where we talk to each other like we talk these days? Why you see things that we see that no matter how tense things were, and they're really tough in other parts of our history. When you ride down the street and there's a Trump banner with a FU on it and a little and a six-year-old kid putting up his middle finger. Did you ever say, no, I'm serious. Did you ever think you'd hear people talk the way they do? Look, it demeans, it demeans who we are. That's not who America, that's not America. Those between, those, look, those of us who want to pull America back at the past and those who want to move it into the future. My lifetime has taught me to embrace the future. I mean it sincerely, freedom, democracy, future based on the core values that have defined America, honesty, decency, fairness, equality, yeah. just treating people just fairly. Yeah. No, I really mean it. We don't always live up, but that, 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 that's the American creed. I've been trying to save money for a while, but it seemed like my bank account was stuck. Thankfully, I heard about Rocket Money and gave it a try. It turns out I had a bunch of subscriptions that I was paying for that I just completely forgot about. Rocket Money helped me cancel some of them and now I'm finally starting to see my account balance going up. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. Now, I could see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel it with a few taps. I love how their dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month, so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. Rocket Money will even help try to lower and negotiate your bills by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money, well, they take care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. That's rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. Rocketmoney.com slash Midas Touch. You know, and there was another moment earlier in the day as well that I think just goes and talks to President Biden's character and, you know, the rebuttal speech from the State of the Union that was given by the Republican senator from Alabama. I mean, it was just so bad from Katie Britt. It was, it was a total, total disaster. If you didn't see it, like, I'll give you a small clip of it. It was horrific. Here, play this clip. Mr. President, enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying, and you only have yourself to blame. Fulfill your oath of office, reverse your policies, end this crisis, and stop the suffering. President Biden was asked about it. What do you think about the rebuttal by Katie Britt, where she gave this overly dramatic attack on President Biden? She was giving the speech while she was like in her kitchen. The whole thing was bizarre. President Biden could have just went right there and just said, you know, that was embarrassing and humiliating, which it was, but that's not what he did. Here's how President Biden responded. Play the clip. I just saw a little bit on television. I thought she was a very talented woman. I, I didn't quite understand the connection she was making. And the question is, I don't know if I would have, I'd like to think I would respond that way, but the moment right now calls for decency, calls for compassion, it calls for humanity. Take a look here at President Biden 
talking about the decision in Alabama, um, which determined that a frozen embryo has the same rights as a child, but shut down IVF clinics. President Biden is talking about restoring freedoms to the American people. Play this clip. She scheduled treatments to have a second child, but the Alabama Supreme Court shut down IVF treatments across the state, unleashed by the U.S. Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. She was told her dream would have to wait. What her family has gone through should never have happened. And folks, do you know why it happened? I'll tell you why. One reason, Donald Trump. He came to office determined to overturn Roe v. Wade. In fact, he's bragged about it repeatedly, that he's the reason it got overturned. He got his wish. And states are passing bans, criminalizing doctors, forcing rape and incest victims to leave their state to get care. And now, MAGA Republicans and Donald Trump want to pass a national ban on the right to choose, period. Well, and then finally, here you have President Biden talking about how you know, Donald Trump's out there meeting with Viktor Orban here. Play this clip. He thinks Putin is a strong, basically easy, decent guy. You know who he's meeting with today and down in Mar-a-Lago? Orban of Hungary, who stated flatly he doesn't think democracy works. He's looking for dictatorship. The only member of NATO. That's who he's meeting with. I see a future where we defend democracy, not diminish it. I see a future where we defend our freedom, not take them away. I see a future where the middle class has a fair shot and the wealthy pay their fair share. And I see a future where the planet move from the climate crisis in our country away from the gun violence that we have so much of. I see a future America remains the beacon of the world. And then you have Trump bragging about his relationship with Viktor Orban. How strange, how bizarre here. This is Trump bragging about Viktor Orban who wants to throw away democracy, who's quite literally Putin's puppet. It's the same way Donald Trump is. Here, play this clip. Yeah. There's a great man, a great leader in Europe, Viktor Orban. He's the, he's the prime minister of Hungary. He's a very great leader, very strong man. Some people don't like him because he's too strong. It's nice to have a strong man running your country, but he... Folks, these enduring, this, this is a, these enduring values. That's what this election is about. It's values, democracy, freedom, compassion, empathy normalcy. And that's what we see President Biden talking about. That's what we see Dr. Jill Biden talking about. It's awesome. And we should appeal to our best selves where Donald Trump wants to divide us and appeal to the worst of the worst dividing us. I want to talk about this one. Let me just show you this clip right here. This is from President Biden, State of the Union. This was just such a moment for me. I have to play it again. Play the clip. Wait, tell me what you think. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Thanks for watching. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.